Let's uh, start working on the AC install. All right, so folks, last year I had a portable AC in the bus, which takes up a lot of space. This year I decided for my air conditioner, I really didn't like it sticking out the window. I am going to attempt to do an inside install where this will be mounted into a custom made box setup and this will be designed so that there's airflow coming in from the sides and out on the back for the system. Last year I made these pieces and they seem to fit okay so the next step is going to be to install and seal everything to keep water from getting in and create a cover for the back. So we're going to get started on that. Uh, here are my basic components. Uh, this was a it's actually a shelf I made to go, not a shelf, but this box is designed for the height to go uh, underneath this way. And it's going to give me some place to store stuff. All right, so here's what I had to uh, to do on this setup here. I had to put these side pieces in first. And uh, yes, I have not painted those yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to do uh, because I don't know how permanent this setup is going to be. This piece underneath was meant to go against this right here. And I'm going to, uh, I will screw that into place to keep this uh, from moving now there's a gap under here which I'm not too worried about but this gives me a space to, to hide stuff in and let's take a look to see what is uh, from the outside oh I got one more piece to put in I forgot this is gonna go up here to keep it from uh, sliding up and down so let me put that piece in first and show you what it looks like all right now this one was a bit of a challenge I'll admit because when I designed it, it fits in, presses against this as I wanted to keep this from falling forward and then goes right in behind this face frame. Now, once this piece is in place, I will be taking a couple of screws down in here to hold it in place to keep it from moving. So let's see if I can get that in place first. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna say ahead of time, this was a struggle for this piece, but uh, it does work exactly for what I need it to do once it's up in here. All right, there we go. That is in place. All right, that is not going anywhere. Alright, so this lines up all along here and the purpose of this piece is once it's in place and screws in back, it presses against this metal piece here and will keep this from falling forward. Alright, I'm going to do a test of the AC. Now, I'm not sure if it will actually come on because uh, it's kind of overcast and although it is 76 in here, 80 in the cab, it may not be enough humidity, I'm not sure, but at least... Turn on, uh, let's see, low cool. All right, now at uh, 6.5, it did kick in. I'm gonna see, well, let me check. Let's go look outside. You won't be able to see anything really, but I'll show you how I got it set up. All right, so this is the setup that I did based on uh, some other videos I saw. Making sure I have enough intake on the side. Now this does have a vent at the top, so it's going to pull air in up there, but I'm hoping that most of this heat will come out this way, and the intake will come up through from the side and the top. Now if nothing else, I may need to make like a little slide-on shroud that goes around this uh, to keep this coming out this way. I did put this in front and right now it's blowing out. It's down to 67 
uh, 0.5 degrees as far as the air coming out. I have it on low cool. Now the real test is going to be on one of these hot days uh, in this bus to see how this comes out, you know, as far as temperature wise. Alright, so it did shut off, uh, but I did not put it uh, all the way as far as, you know, I didn't put it to the coldest setting. Alright, so when it shut off, the air coming out, uh, 64, 63, I'm going to look to see if that uh, uh, comes out any cooler than that. Alright, so I'm letting this uh, run deliberately, I put it on the coldest setting. I want to see how cold this air is that's going to be coming out. So far it's down to 49 degrees. Now the good thing is about this location is where this air is aiming uh, because it's going into this direction which is sort of like my bed and office area which will be you know that would be really good. The other thing I've done to help narrow down the cooling of this living area is this curtain setup I've done for just to just to isolate this back area uh, it has one of these blackout curtains that's also it's one of those curtains you get in the store this design you put in your window it's a nice curtain to keep the Sun from heating up the house too quick uh, what I wanted to do as you saw in a previous video is at least make it look nice now I do need a little bit more light in, lighting in here uh, right now that's holding at 49. Now the temperature on that side is down to 70. Uh, in this area right over here, now this is indirectly, this is the kitchen area, this is down to 73. And it's definitely throwing out some uh, hot air out the fins out the back. As you can see, I deliberately faced this side towards the sun. But at least finally got some for a little bit. Um, because I wanted to see, I wanted to build up the temperature inside to test out not only the air conditioning, but see if the max air fan will pull out some of the heat from this cab, which was causing another problem. Normally what will be happening when I park somewhere is this is the side that will be uh, facing the sun uh, because all of these windows here are insulated on the inside. All right, I'm getting ready to close this up uh, to keep the rain out or when I'm going down the road. A little less uh, conspicuous, although, you know, I'm in a bus. I have solar panels on top, so I don't think there's going to be much for not having something conspicuous. But this is just some piece of, uh, I don't know what it's from, but it's like kind of thin foam, and I'm just using it. Not necessarily to protect this, but uh, one of the things that stops is uh, this from um, bending back and forth or wobbling back and forth when it's in there because just enough of a buffer. So I'm going to slide this in. I've painted this black so it looks like the uh, rest of the bus. Uh, I'm going to put these screws in here. As I was saying, I put just enough of these to hold this in place. All right, this will be plenty secure going down the road. So wherever I'm going, at most I have uh, six screws to take out. Uh, now this is a little bit moving at the top, but that's uh, no big deal. Maybe I can come up with something later date so it doesn't 
wiggle. The only way to really know for sure is to go down the road and uh, that's definitely not going to come off. It's going to hold. But this will be one of the items on my checklist regularly. Pull this off, check the boards inside, make sure they're secure. There is a ridge that this is setting on. So any rain that does come down against this, even if it sits on here, won't really go that far inside or it shouldn't. Um, I have a couple of actually these holes I should put a little silicone on right uh, now before I forget. Alright, so folks, I guess wrapping up the uh, AC at this point, uh, I'm not sure, first of all, what I'm going to do for finishing up on the inside. I'm thinking I'll do the same thing I've done, you see, uh, you know, like this type of finish. I'll do some small boards on the side and front, uh, and I think that'll look pretty nice. This is my little hideaway unit, which is also holding up this base. The last thing I did on the outside and inside is I did run some silicone sealant here to fill in these gaps. Uh, not necessarily for any issues with water, but uh, uh, more simply because uh, bugs and stuff, you know, if they come in from the outside. This dropped down to, I think the coldest it got was around 48 degrees. And that was on the coolest setting and I'm hoping that keeping it on low cool will be um, enough for this whole bus area so uh, there's the AC uh, other th other things I'll do to try and keep this cooler is that front door closed uh, some kind of uh, heat reflectics in the windows in the cab all right I hope you like this video uh, if there's anything I didn't cover, please let me know in the comments below and I will respond or I can make an additional video. And don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share.